I was walking down a dirt road past a very large house and I heard a shout, a shout come out of the house. Come right, come here right now. He's going to get a hundred lashings when I catch you. I saw a black run out of the house, blood and sweat streaking down his face. He jumped into a river and began to swim. The master of the sleigh ran out of the house with a shotgun and began shooting it in the river. I was hoping that the master would catch the black. Blacks shouldn't be free. They're slaves, not humans. At least, that's what I've been taught. I personally believe that slaves should be workers, but they should be freed after a certain amount of years. Now if I told my father that, he would slap me and say I'm a black lover. The, sa the slave in the river bed was now gone. He wants to swim down the river. The master came to me with his cherry with his cherry red face and asked, Have you seen a black come out of anywhere? I didn't want to lie to him, so I told him what I saw. You ain't lying to me, boy, now are you? No, sir. My father's taught me three important things in life. One, don't lie. Two, never cheat or steal. And the most important one of all, never trust a black. The master began to laugh a hearty laugh. Alright, so I trust you, but if you see him anywhere, come to me and I will give you a larger reward than anybody else on this plantation. Got that? Yes, sir. Bye. I continued to walk down the dirt road, contemplating what I would do if I were caught the slave. It was very likely that I would catch him, but it was still for the truth. I walked into town, almost forgetting why my father had sent me into the city. My father had sent me to the city to get some food for our family, considering the fact that the lives were falling very far away from the city. After I had gotten the food and other supplies, I walked into the city central and found a man standing on something tall. The man was telling everybody of how long the slavery was. The man said his name was William. The man said his name was William Lloyd Garrison and how he supported Harriet Tubman. I had heard rumors of a woman named Harriet Tubman who was taking slaves. I figured that I would turn into slave and I had seen his escape. I continued on my way to return to my father. I saw a black girl towards me and asked me for help. I noticed that he was solid with water. Did you escape? I won't tell anyone if you did. The slave just stood there staring at me, and then he shuddered from the crack of the gunshot again. I was tempted to turn the man in and get a very large sum of money that the plantation owner had promised me. I won't help you, but I know a good hiding place where you can go. Go up the hill and turn left. You will find a creek. In a creek, you will find a little lean to man tree branch. Just hide there. I will see to it that you don't get caught. The slave looked at me and nodded. Nodded and replied with, God will be with you and God will bless you. I hope you have a prosperous life. And how do you know this hiding space? Hiding space. I made it when I was a young boy, I replied. How old are you now? Seventeen. What's your name? Say that. Thomas, I replied. My name is Frederick Douglass. Thank you so much, Thomas. Alright, now get it, he said. The slave ran off. I instructed the two to follow. I personally helped him.